Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, top right, post youth, it is Australia. And in the bottom left, it is Future. Apparently both playing in the same band for now. I need to double check on that one. This first game. So, let's have a look at the map real quick, because this is a banger. You get an in-base expand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. An in-base expand. With only 8 patches, and 3 of those are gold. But you get 4 gases super, super early, if you want them. This uh, can enable very crazy mech builds, but it is also rather mineral heavy as those uh, three patches are gold minerals. Alright, then you also, if you go down this ramp, I mean you can get this mined out, for example, in, in different matchups, this sometimes plays a role, PvP for example. Uh, if you go down here, you already have another gold base, a full gold base, six patches and gas geyser. And then, uh, of course, this one, you cannot place a command center or hatchery or anything here. It's literally one tile or like a couple tiles that are in the way. So you will always have to mine from this location. There's no way. You, like, you could set up a base here and mine down, but that doesn't make sense. Or like here and run down. That doesn't make any sense. And uh, there we go. Future going for a double racks opening here. It's also going to block with the supply depot. And we're going to have a one gas for now. This might just end up being a 2-1-1 on one base, which is kind of crazy because Trey is already expanding with the Nexus here, and mm, I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm not sure that I like it for this map specifically. What Future is doing, I'd rather have him just expand. Or if you're gonna do something like this, a one base, two racks, three racks, lift your freaking CC and go here, get that gold extra income. And then if you run out, out of those three patches gold, you go transfer your CC back here. And have a fresh base again. So I think this... Like, the, of course, the, the cheese is there, 3rex Reaper, right? But I think for uh, this map specifically, it could be optimized a little bit more, in my opinion. Okay, let's see how Australia is. Oh, he's happily mining from his gold minerals already and hasn't adapted on the way. Did not really see what's going on. He's gonna see one marine, which is of course the, uh, you know, the faker. Hey, hey, I'm making marines. I have a safety marine and now he's gonna find the two reaper. Gonna get the marine for his trouble, but gonna lose the adept. Let's see if he can get maybe a reaper. No, it's not gonna happen. And probe's also gonna go down. He wanted to do that, actually. He wanted to mine out this, this patch. Uh, as you can see, uh, one of those has a trip less, which we are going to confirm now. 15. And if you take a gas here and mine that, you can basically go into the gas, swap it back into a gas. Uh, a Vespine grab or whatever it is, right? These these things here. These things. And then you can swap it for a mineral again. Freely. Okay, so this map also has a lot of Reaper jumping points, so you need to be careful. There is two in this area, one here and one here, as we see. Well, Future is trying to trade against the Stalker. He's gonna get the Stalker, but loses one Reaper as well in return. Did he lose two? Not extra sure. But there's so much money for Stray. He already has an extra gate, he has a sentry, he has so many extra units. Usually don't have. And then, yeah, I don't I don't think I like this so much from, from Future. I mean, he's gonna kill a couple of props now, which is kind of cool and all. But is it really worth it? So far only three have gone down. I mean, he's gonna get a good scout. He's coming in again, trying to go for the sentry. It's not gonna happen though. Why well, is it though? Is it though? Sentry needs to be careful here. Maybe a force field could save it. No! Nice assassination here. From future, he's gonna get his fourth probe on the way out as well. But now, a couple extra stalkers have been warped in and the build has been thwarted. And I feel like this is by far not enough. We have another CC. Done, and there's the third CC. Okay, so this is the risk he was trying to take behind this. His third base is gonna be faster than the one from Australia, which is a good move, I think. So he used this Reaper pressure to fully uh, get aggression off his side of the map and go completely economic all in behind this, basically. The super fast 3 CC. And what happens now is his tech is completely. Well, it's at the Ars of Norse. No, it's nowhere to be seen. He only has like stim combat shields, marine marauder, and that's it. And three bases. He doesn't even have factory. He has no upgrades going. No plus one. He has no medivacs. And uh, any form of AOE. 
is gonna wreck his army. Nostreya is already going into a robotics uh, facility. He could even maybe try and come and snipe Stim. Let, let's check. Ah, actually, it's it's too far away. Yeah, it's already finishing up, and the sentry doesn't have enough energy for now. There we go, hallucination. It could do it now. It's actually gonna do it. There we go, Phoenix coming in here. Fine for the scout. This zealot is gonna get a lucky looksy peeksy here. Gonna see the army actually move in on the left side. And future just decides to get back. Get back home. So he's probably not gonna do much pressure with this this group of units. Oh, if Australia can actually go north here and see the expand landing right now, this would be amazing for him. It would be a full scout. Phoenix is just gonna expire, it seems, though. A little bit unfortunate there. Oh, maybe he's... Yeah, actually he's going. And he sees the SUV. He's perfect. There we go. Gets the follow-up. Got a shield battery. I think I wouldn't even mind a second one because you know your opponent can only come from this side. He has no medivacs. You just saw that. And confirmed that. And uh, we have an immortal stalker zealots without charge, though. It's not that great, to be honest. And yeah, as I said, the second shield battery might have been, you know, the thing you wanted. Because now you use the overcharge. I mean, he used them, so he's most likely not going to re-engage. One, one was perfectly enough. And Estrella going for the gold. An easy expand path for him. Robotics and... Our loss is almost done already. I wonder what you are doing here, Probe. Make some gateways, it seems. Pretty low on gates so far. Got the forge running. We've got Blink coming in. The Astraea went a, a basically a two-gate without Twilight. And just some basic gateway units to bolster his army against any incoming pressure. While he was um, going a very quick nexus on his in-base natural, right? Future did kind of the all in. So, so this is like a very safe middle of the road build from Australia. And Future was kind of, well, 3 Rex Reaper is a little bit all in here, right? If you don't do anything with it, you're quite far behind. It still feels he's a little bit behind, but what he managed to do, well, we can talk about that later. He's coming in here. Trying to push the issue, trying to get a cancel in the space. He has a lot of units there, but force fields are looking quite great indeed. And the army is just going to be cut down in half there from future. And probably not going to be enough to overpower. He did unpower the shield battery though. So that's a good move. And we have some reinforcements quickly trying to charge in. If he could snack those probes, might have been great as well. But this army is kind of low. As you can see, it's not healed up yet at all. And uh, some Colossus swipes are actually really painful at this point. This is all just though to get this out of position. Trying to come in here with another group. This shield battery did not repower with the piling was out of position. And he's got to get six props for his troubles. Oh, with the mines. Okay, so... He has the observer somewhere. There it is. <laughs> it's so big now, how could I not see it? Alright, behind all of this, Future going into his double uh, upgrades with the armory as well. If he does not miss a beat there, he's going to be in good shape, at least. To be, uh, well, he's going to be still quite far behind. We have plus one already done and two one on the way, halfway done here um, for Australia. But at least Future has still a good shot trading well enough if he keeps being on point with his upgrades. Oh, I wonder if he saw that actually. He did see a probe, apparently. But he did not see the prism. We only have depots here. This is not turrets. There's one turret, but that's in a little bit of a weird position. It looks more like an anti-DT turret. Of course, they don't have no all. This observer is so key, man. He sees everything. It's like shooting him. Him peeing a cannon is kind of not the thing I think you were looking there for as well. Spending two MPs on that, that's a different one. Oh, he finds the observer this time. Loses all of his mine coverage, though. So all out of AoE. He's going a little bit of an interesting route here. And this force field is going to be not the force field Astray is looking for, actually. Helping Future quite a bit there. Got a big Zealot warp in coming in here. And one Viking on patrol. He's almost seeing this group. And uh, he, he might even see Zealot running in here from now. So I wonder if he notices this. Yeah, he actually sees this. He sees the 
One prism also coming in perfectly done by him. The turret is going to help a little bit. And wow, this is completely shut down. Well done, my future. And we have a bunker here. It's only filled up with two marines. So zealots, if they focus on the SOVs, are still going to do a little bit of damage. But it's definitely not what Australia was looking for. I mean, five SOVs, yeah, cool. But you lost like eight zealots and a war prism. It's at like a thousand minerals. Five SOVs? No. And it didn't even help you with this push because it, it comes late. It just loses the Colossi. This is very well defended by Future. And yeah, Australia, you need to pull back, man. You're not going to break anything. The second Colossus falls down. All AoE is re reduced. And you stalk a Zealot. And one Immortal here. Still hammering away at, I hope at least. Well, he's shooting at a Ghost right now, which is not helpful. Needs to focus those uh, Immortals there. Uh, sorry, Marauders. And yeah, he, he's... Well, Future is sniping that one now. So, there we go. So far, so good. Well done by Future. He's been doing a very nice job of coming back into this game. Now it's only Stalkers against such a huge bioforce. So many ghosts, so many marauders. Stalkers is not the answer here. And he's going to have to give up this base at least. Upgrades are ahead right now, though, for... Australia, which is a big deal, but uh, this is why he can still kind of fight on, hang on, and still fight, but yeah, he's gonna lose this base. And this one? Uh-oh. If he, oh my god, probe transfer a little bit too fast. If he loses this base as well, it's gonna be terrible. Zealot's getting hammered by those mines. The bio has to pull back though, I think. It's pretty low. It needs either reinforcements or pull back, and Falling back is going to buy enough time, it seems, here for Australia. Let's see, he needs another warping round. Is he so light on gates? No, he doesn't really have any money. Where's his money going? He's been trading so badly? Let's check. Yes, actually, the future has been trading so... Wow. Amazing. Doubling. Almost doubling. Yeah, GG. That was amazing control by future. Both, most of those engagements have been just the thing you were looking for. Crazy stuff. Australia, man, getting wrecked by Future. That was really well played by Future. So basically what happened there was all of those engagements really went so far in in uh, Future's way. And Australia was kind of struggling to get out enough AoE, right? And like the, the strength of Crutchlot um, based armies did not really come to fruition because he never really set up any flanks. He never really... Had, like the the map is very choky, so it's not the best thing for charge lots in general. And then if you don't set flanks or runarounds as well, like surrounds, well, it seems like you're just trading so so bad. Not gonna help, huh? Alright, next map's gonna be Ghost River. See what we're gonna have here. Oh, future picking yellow, I love it. And he's up 1 0 in the top left, Mr. Future. Top right, we have Estrella. Pull up the production tab. Okay. So, very cool stuff. Um, what Future showed us there in the last game. But I think this map, Ghost River. Of course, this is all new maps. It just feels very strong for Protoss. Like your your base, your main base, or your first three bases, except for like a ground path, are rather compact. So it's a little bit difficult to drop those. Like if you come in from your, from the natural and then try to go to the main, it's it feels so difficult. Like all of the natural progression into your enemy's base um, via via air goes basically through the natural or the rally so if you come all the way around then you have to go over the third 
So like, and and if you go from the bottom, it's such a far way. It feels like uh, drop. Like this map is very good against anything that that has to drop, basically anything that has to come in swift uh, air wise. It has like a natural layout that it does not really allow those things to be done very easily. And on the other side, like so this natural and this third base are really far away on ground. Well, that's kind of weird. So you have this this mineral setup here, you have the rocks, you have rocks here, so it seems you're defended, but once these rocks are open, Rodos is going to have a field day. They can, they can put in charge slots from down here, they can come in with a flank from here and run up the army over here and completely crush anything that's in between um, the third and the second base, the natural. So... I really like Protoss on this map, in this matchup specifically. It feels Protoss really has a good time. And I've already seen some PVTs here which have been very, very decisive and one-sided. Basically one big push and then Darren just crumbles. Let's see what Future is gonna do here and uh, what Australia is gonna do here. But yeah, I think if Australia just plays a macro game, it's not gonna lose this one. The map really also, like, is good for his style, I think. It's, it's a map where he definitely can make things very weird if he wants to. So far, we're gonna have a factory first into the CC and a double Hellion opening. So if Estrella decides to go for a quick third base, he might have trouble. He already is setting up. Excuse me, he's already setting up like a semi wall here. So if he's gonna put down a gate here and a gate here, he's gonna. I create a little bit of a funnel here, a couple of units down here, and you can basically block up the entrance. This is also being seen. Sorry, the Adept did just scout this. So he knows, hey, there's Hellions. He already damaged one, which has to be repaired. There's a Hellion Reaper opening. So yeah, he's already placing the... Oh, okay. See? I'm gonna do it like this, and he can put a pylon to clock this one up. Making the Hellions completely useless. There we go. So now we need a dropship or anything here from... Future, which is, well, not there, because, oh, there's a starport, actually. <laughs> he did get one in a funny location. It's producing a Viking, not a medivac, which is a little bit of a shame. With a medivac, he could have actually done something with these Hellions right now. Uh, yeah, actually, a medivac might have basically ended the game at this point. If we look at look at the stuff. I mean, Future doesn't know, but, oh, man. It, he's like, oh, if I, oh, my, whoa. Oh, Australia just gets down the pylon, but is it going to be enough? No, it actually gets cancelled. Hellions do run in. Evacuation is happening here. And the Reaper does not have the grenade currently available. Actually, go ahead and uh, jump those. But Australia is trapping the units now. He is losing some probes. He's losing four probes, which is good here for at least uh, for future. Five probes are going down. Okay, so I think this is decent enough probably. Is It also did cost some mining time. And we're gonna have a follow-up. The wait, where, where, where did the Viking go? It did land apparently and tried to fight here with the army, but did die. So that didn't do as much as he was hoping for. If you can have a Viking shoot at probes, then I think they're two shot. And bonus against me. But yeah, liberator coming in here. Follow-up harassment. This is gonna be great again. Let's see how far the reaction is gonna be. It's gonna be none probe kills. That's very good. And he's gonna kill this. Okay, so this was perfectly done by Australia. But still, I think, considering the, the full scout did, go, did happen and uh, Australia knew everything, I think this is more than Future could have hoped for, actually. But yeah, very well done by him. A little bit sloppy by Australia. He was definitely underestimating the threat. Okay. So there's no vision whatsoever in this part of the base, and there could be a big warp in as we have two gates. Okay, so only two. But hey, that's a lot of stalkers. He could kill that tank. He's gonna jump on it. Oh, misclick there on the CC for a second. Did not eat another shot, but yeah, he, he can even snipe the raven, snipe the raven, snipe. No, he's gonna settle for some SCVs. So this is huge, huge. This is only two gates. This put so much damage behind. Wow. And for SCVs, there we go, trade back even. Or are we? 
But I th still think economically futures in a little bit of a better position. Four SV is not enough at this stage. You need to have like, you need to get like eight or something. Ah, eight is maybe a little bit too tough. Six. Six would be good. Oh, it's gonna snipe the Raven here. Very well done. And maybe even the bunker needs to be a little bit careful though. Got a Marauder now in the bunker, which is adding a ton of damage into the Stalkers. There, as we can see, boom, one missile did connect there as well in the end. There's also a Cyclone now. Another three SVs go down though, so I think this is worth it at this point. And uh, Australia should pull ahead economically. Oh boy, he's gonna lose one observer anyhow, unfortunately. The thing though is, if Future cannot get Australia off his, his lawn uh, in the next uh, 20 30 seconds, it's gonna be five. I've got Australia, at least, and it's gonna be big whoppings. And uh, yeah, there's nothing happening here. There needs to be a bunker apparently. There's no tanks anymore. This is the second factory? No, this is the f this is the main factory. It floated such a long way to be on a tech lab, which is gonna most likely clock this tank here in this position. So I think this is a little bit of a mistake here. By future, we're gonna see. In the future, how oh, this is gonna pan out though. You get the cyclone, would have been great. No, it's not gonna, it's actually settling for marines here. Yeah. I didn't really focus too. There is no medivacs yet, so whatever you can get on damage is basically pretty fine. Behind this, he's been growing, growing, growing. Forge, storm almost done. Uh, charge did just finish now. There we go. Uh, third base is up and mining. Fourth base almost about to start. He should probably place it down in just a second. There we go. Let's be in the production tab and the minimap. And yeah, next thing he's gonna do, he is already has two high templars accumulating energy, almost ready for storm here. Storm is done, and he's just gonna warp in some charge loss now. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. He has enough gates. He has like six gates. That should be fine. I'm gonna recall the war prism with some extra units in there. This is all stalkers. And I think if we look at the numbers, yeah, this should not be enough for future. Especially since his army is already pretty low in damage. And there we go, storms are gonna be happening. Wow, so much damage. I'm gonna kill the tank, it's just gonna retreat here and say, hey, you can have that that small marauder force. But yeah, actually, I'm gonna go for the hunt. Can you get some medivacs? One, two, that's pretty good. Another stim. There's no medivacs, so every stim is so so powerful. There's even none in production right now. Oh my god, this is making add-ons now. Oh wow, wow, wow! If he would knew that. Okay, sorry. There's two that just that just pop. Okay, and we're gonna get the turret ring here. This base is huge. Wow, think about it. I mean, future has been kind of making all of his production on the low ground here, and. Uh, I wonder if this one got stuck here, so he decided to basically relift anything. Let's check if we have drilling claws. Actually, no, but he's making mines out of a reactor, which is a little bit weird in my opinion. I mean, the armory does not provide the cloak anymore, and I'm pretty sure, well, we are gonna have one. Making his buildings in funny locations, I wanna say. This is a little bit exposed. So, Vestrea sees this, comes in here, gets this tank, he can get the uh, eBay and the armory here. Uh, it's a nice position though on that tank. And one Marauder with it. There we go, Storm Drop into the SCVs. Not gonna do too much, actually only one SCV, two SCVs are gonna fall, but... Ooh, oh, 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 he needs to be careful here. I mean, he can probably kill this one. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 wow. <laughs> two HP. No, oh, it's gonna die. Gonna get shot by a Marine. This is a safe spot. This is a safe spot. And meanwhile, we're pushing in on the right side. So many storms are pocketed right now. They need to be on this cluster on the left here. But of course, storms retreatingly are way bigger than the ones offensively. Easier to use them. There we go. Zealot reinforcement coming in. Fifth base on the way. And as you can see, Australia just keeps on growing and growing and growing on this map. And it just feels like future cannot really catch a break. Boom. Oh. Yeah. As I said, plus two is gonna get cancelled. This is so exposed, future. What are you doing here? I mean, this is like also creating a choke, which is cool against charge loads and all, but. Man. 
Hey, you can snipe this one. There we go. Oh, such a sick storm there on the top of that army. Oh my god. And now Future decides it's time to pull the boys. Colossus joins in just in time here. Nice storm there on the right and disseminating the bio and GG. Well played. Destroyer did finish off game number two. Go through. One to one. Even out the series here. I mean, future is really good, but Australia should be better. But those two are a good match, it seems. Like, first game was really, really well played by future. It, like, execution wise, was amazing. They had some weird strategy choices, which ended up being perfectly fine. So far, I like it. What we're gonna see next. I'm probably checking out the replay right now. Trying to see what ran, went wrong. There we go. Next map is going to be Dynasty, so it's a crazy map again. Kind of funny that so many new maps are actually being played currently, and uh, I assume a lot of those are going to be vetoed in the next stages uh, or the next weeks. Once people are like, sick of the crazy. Oh, Bion versus Max Max is going on as well right now. But we're gonna stick with Estrella Future and then Estrella or Future into Reyna. Then maybe Reyna against Trigger or Dark. Woohoo. Dark, by the way. I hope he's actually He's playing. I did become a father. Congratulations to him. A little baby daughter now. One of the few players who actually do have children. All right, one to one, color swapping. I love it. All right, bottom left we have future, and the top right we have Australia. And this is Dynasty, so this might be the craziest of the crazy maps. I like the one with the in base uh, gold stuff and natural, but this one is kind of the same. It has a back door, gold base with one guy, sir, and. Uh, if you mine this, you, you mine the three patches on the top out faster than on the bottom because they are 900 and those are 1800. So you will open up a big path for big units as well. This matters specifically in uh, TVZs, for example, or well, probably TVZ mostly because you can always send ultralisks for run buys eventually through that area. But this is a very harassable, like it's harassable from the outside, so yeah. Actually having that base sometimes is putting you behind. Can be harassed so easily. You just need like one unit behind it. If you have like a you know and Terran, he just puts a tank in range where it barely hits the probes, then you have like a vision unit. And then you can completely deny that position. <laughs> With Estrella going for the Nexus very fast on the gold for his cybernetics core. Uh, skipping that a little bit of safety to get a little bit more extra income. And uh, we, yeah, well, well played by him because there's only going to be a marine, so you didn't need the fast core anyways. Future also, okay, this is a little bit weird. <clears throat> I think this is to prevent a scout from that place. Like if you go here with a probe, you should not be able to see this. And he pushed out the probe on the front, so he can basically defend this front and completely deny scouting but I mean it was seen that there's only one gas so I think Australia has a good read on this and I mean he's still gonna be in the lead as the Nexus did indeed already this is already gonna finish here in a second Oh, wait. Nice to see you, but I'm not in game. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. Oh boy. 
Okay. I apologize. Uh, yeah, so... Um, see, you cannot see this. Yeah, as I was saying earlier. <laughs> you cannot see the space from here. But he's gonna see the mining happening here in a second. Oh, he's actually moving back. So this is kind of working out for future right now. Maybe... Australia is gonna have a misread on this one. We're gonna see. Oh my god. Amazing, yeah. Okay. Well, two Hellions could actually be huge, but he's not gonna commit up the ramp. Luckily for Australia. I mean, he has two Stalkers, which would have been fine, but... Hellions are faster. I'm gonna keep the Adept here, in front of his base, his gold base, which I like. Um, there we go, though. A Widow Mind drop behind this base could be, well, pretty... Devastating, no? Did Australia try to build something here? Was that a pylon? Trying to cannon there without cannons? I mean, you can put on a pylon here and you have like low ground, low ground, right? So you can basically warp over. But let's let's have a look at the Widow Mines. Oh, 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 oh. The Widow Mines drop. <clears throat> the Widow Mines have been nerfed insanely. And, um,. Basically, uh, there's also, as the Hellions also run in, but only get one probe there. Oh my god, this could be a huge shot though. But yeah, as you can see, it's so easy to split now, especially for professional um, play. Like, they will really light up those probes. So yeah, it's really easy to, to split off the one unit that is being actually targeted now. And a splash radius has been reduced, so it's it's easier to um, you know do the thing. Like um, like you you can even react a little bit later. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. Stalkers coming in here from the back at the natural. Our future auditor did get denied by the stalker being in a different position there. Oh my god. Okay, the woodman drop comes in again. Nine probes did just go down. I'm sorry, we missed that one. That's actually a huge shot there. I was trying to think if, uh, you know, if, if it would be a cool idea to get a shield battery if you're gonna be that is offensive here with stalkers, actually. Oh, he's just gonna blink in. There we go. Don't need shield battery. Everything's so low. The auditor is here doing a ton of damage. And those stalkers, I don't think that was the move you were looking for there, Stray. You could have sniped the tank here from, from back here. And now, second tank's coming in. Gonna siege down here again. And what did you accomplish? You did just lose your whole, whole stalker army for nothing, li literally. Gonna go for the same again. Trying to go in and snipe the tank, but it's gonna sacrifice so many stalkers again for that move. And on the other side, we're gonna have a Widow Mine drop into the main base again. Four probes going down here. This natural is kind of safe. Only five probes die down there, but there's been a slugfest of killing workers and denying mining here. Now another tank is gonna come in, and well, future is kind of baiting the the you know the blink in there a little bit. It's kind of crazy. Can you not snap? I guess you cannot. It's it's I guess it's out of range, right? Uh. And widow mind drop is still going strong. I hope this time it's gonna be caught here yeah, for the sake of Straya, but it seems. Oh my God! It's, he's he's busy micron right now. Okay, there we go. Gonna lose the stalker. No, this was perfectly done. Okay, let's quickly have a look at this position. But two tanks here now. I don't think that Australia can continue his pressure here. Like a tank, if that one sieges outside of range, like over this. Come on, siege the tank already. The one SUV did get jumped over there. Kind of funny. That's gonna catch the empty medivac, which is cool for Australia. And uh, yeah, let's see if the game is gonna stabilize a little bit. Okay, let's have a look at Future's base, what is actually going on here. So there's no actual uh, additional tanks coming in. There's only plus one, and there should be plus one armor coming in soon. So upgrades are a little bit slow on the sides of um, Australia. We're gonna have double upgrades here, which are already working fine. Trying to build an empty porch for now. There we go. Starting that plus two. Fourth base on the way. Stalkers derping out over here. 
on patrol trying to intercept any medivacs. <coughs> yeah, Future's, future's uh, growth is a little bit slow and... Well, he's down a lot of SVs. He's actually not really remaking SVs. He's just making army. He has a huge army. And there's no AoE, right? There's only charge lots. Not the, I mean, they have good upgrades. It's 1-1 one, one charge lots. And those stalkers are going to intercept a lot of um, reinforcements. But that's a strong push. Yeah, get... Zealots, really? There's still 200 minerals up here. You cannot... Even the depths would have been better. Okay, so for now, we're going to evacuate the base here. And this is not mined out yet. Oh, charge shots coming in. Trying to assassinate the tanks is actually going to work wonderfully. There we go. Guardian shield as well on those charge shots. Charge shots <laughs> way better than I thought they should have been doing there. Uh, well, future's going to trade that out for now. Going to push this back. Slowly remaking some SUVs, but not really too much. Just make an army, an army, army. All the SVs here. I mean, the gold income is is kind of it's kind of is as you would be at like 50 or 55 SVs because of the gold. It's a little bit crazy, but it's gonna run out soon. And currently, like two one almost done, two two almost done as well. Therefore, Ray up only plus one armor coming in. And that's even gonna be behind the armor from Australia, so ton yeah, those if those would have been anything else, literally anything else, he could have pressured this position. Even high templars they have. I mean I guess yeah, even two dark templars you could have like warped in an archon and then completely wrecked that position, right? Yeah, crazy man. Anything but charge lines. See, this is a good position for future though, this ankle here shooting from the low ground there. From the high ground, but while this is happening, this has been mined out. The sentry is kind of blocking the entrance here for now, but a huge army of of uh, Astraea is gonna go in and put a timer on future, it seems. So he can always recall, but let's see the engage here. First, gonna lose a lot of uh, stalkers here. This flank is gonna is looking pretty good for future so far, and Astraea needs to be a little bit careful not to over extend here. At this point, you can like snipe one of the CCs or something and leave some zealots there and uh, yeah, just recall all of your units. But you don't really have anything in your base, do you? You need to definitely recall here. Freya, you need to you need to get a good fight. Okay, so he's trying to rebuild in the bottom. And uh, wow, these Atosis pylons. He is on 2-2, which is amazing for him as well. And he's completely gonna put Future on a, on a very, on a basically one army here. That's the goal. And I, uh, I don't think he's gonna let these upgrades finish. Plus two armor was picked up for now. Future does not know about the base. Oh, he knows actually. Why, why, uh, I guess he's playing with Korean. He knows about the base. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the engagement I was looking for. Ropes fighting SUVs and one zealot against one marine. <laughs> so Australia salvages a lot of economy here. Uh, he need to find the CCs though. So if you don't kill Terran CCs, the production's also going. Oh, this is not being killed off. He puts down some pylons. He has a lot of production again. He's gonna make a dark shrine, another base. He has those extra probes. He should know about this base. I think he saw it, at least with the zealots. And um, future also has something up here, mining already. So he can land, land his production. He needs some. Um, oh, this, if this gets denied, it's actually pretty big. He needs some more depots. So any depot that's going to be sniped here is going to be great for Australia, as he can keep on making more units. There we go, DT. So now, now we're going to see. There's a ton of scans, though, stacked on this CC. Yeah, amazing. Two at the same time. Cancel this one. There we go. At least get the money back. We don't have big banks for these players. Even gas is like super low right now, which Australia is noticing. And uh, yeah, he was making the DT tag, but oh, losing any unit is so vital here. Everyone keeping those alive. These zealots are on strike. They need to find this this depot location. He actually knows about this. He sees one of those depots. But yeah, he's gonna pull back the zealots for now. Production is being 
relanded on the top of the map here by future. This is kind of crazy. It's all over the place. And we have one healthy, healthy mining base. We need to get some gas, I guess, very soon. Maybe he can even throw down another CC, but I guess at this point it's all about making army, army, army. And it's very basic stuff. It's all, all marines. They're crazy. Good recall here. Yeah. We're gonna see one tech lab to actually get some different things. A couple probes went down, I guess. Counting probes. Ah, the salad did just find the base, so he knows. Oh, he's gonna save this one, so he can make ghosts. That's great. He still has a starport. He needs to land this one. How many medevacs does he have? There's only three, right? So if he would land the star starport, this would be pretty pretty good for him. I hope he remembers this one. There we go. DTs. Yeah, single file DTs. <clears throat> That's basically what you want to do at this point. This trayer. Just send those in. Even if you could, could get DT blink, this would have been great. Like the best thing you can get right now. And then just, just dip in DTs. There's a full orbital though. He he's, has been dropping any mules any deeper. Oh, crazy man. Finally, he finds this one. He remembers this one. Picking off deepers is big. Gonna limit the growth of the army here. But Treya, no AoE. And this army is amazing. It's it's so big. It has so much fire firepower. There's so many marines in the army, and he's been kiting, kiting, kiting all day long here. Sentry is probably soon gonna run out of guardian shield time, and then you maybe want to pull back. But actually, there's not enough healing power. As I said, if you would have remembered that Starport made a couple more medivacs, had like five or maybe seven medivacs at this point, this army would have been so much stronger. Now, all of the uh, bulky force has been decimated there. And Zealot is putting a time on this orbital as well. And uh, we're gonna get some mule droppage. Actually, a lot of, as you can see, 15 SVs did went down. And um, I think they went down to a DT here and a Widow Mine. So basically the economy has been ravaged now and there's no more scans available. We have one ghost in the mix who can EMP uh, anything that is invisible of course. But there we go, EMP has just been used so nothing is there anymore. Wow. Just charge it in. Okay, he's gonna sacrifice one. Try to use a stalk on the second one. It's gonna just eat the other two mine shots. But yeah, even mines, like killing those mines is pretty big. Both field GG. Well played by Australia. Very well done. Concussive. <laughs> that was a crazy game. I love it though. It was super crazy, but yeah, definitely some mistakes on both sides. I don't think there was concussives. Actually, yeah, you were mentioning this, but pretty sure there wasn't concussives until the very end of the game, even. 